Well, welcome to Alaska. The purpose of today's video really is to talk about shortcuts to make sure that you can maximize your camping experiences. And so over the years, I've developed some tips and tricks, I think, that make it so it's easier to go camping. I'm going to go win winter camping today, but there are a few tricks that I use that work really year round. Um, it seems like each season ends up having its own special gear, but by and large, there's some themes that we can use throughout the year to make our lives easier. So my first trick really is I keep all my camping stuff in one place. Um, right now I have it in the back of my truck and after this trip, I'll take all my gear out. I'll dry my tent. I'll dry my sleeping bags. I'll wash all my dishes, do everything and I'll repack everything. So it's ready to go. I'll dry my tent here. See, I got it all hung up here. There's the footprint. Put it right back into my storage area or directly into my truck depending on if i'm going to use my truck for something different and so everything's always in one place two weekends ago i made my first winter camping trip of the year and um, the first trip of any season is always difficult because you got to get all the ticky tacky things that make that season that's unique to that season really um, but there are some things that kind of hold true for all things and so having all your gear in one place is kind of handy and so let's take a look and see what we got happening here. In here I have my stove. I brought a chainsaw this time. I got my food there. I got two totes of wood. I have a sleeping pad. Up in the front there, in those totes there, is where I have all my cook stuff. So I unload that every time and double check to make sure I have what I need and repack those. And then the green bags here, I have the tent that I use in the winter time. I have several different tents. I put both these in green bags just so that I can keep track of stuff. In addition to that, you can see I have a tarp there. And this time I brought a chair. I forgot to bring a chair last time. And then in the back of my truck, I don't like to put my sleeping bag in the back. And so I have my sleeping bag and my clothes and stuff here in the back of the truck. So everything's really in one easy place so I can keep track of stuff. So we'll look at a couple other things as we move along here. We're gonna spend a minute and talk about the gear that I kind of have, um, I won't say year round, but for winter camping, and a lot of this does also work in, or I also take it in summer camping. So I have a spatula. This is a coffee pot. We'll look in, at him later. This is a pot. This is a really cool little thing here. It's a pot that has two, um, well, they, it's a cup inside of a bowl. And so multiple uses there. You can boil water in it. Generally, I kind of boil all my water and my coffee pot, but I may end up using that. This is oatmeal, part of breakfast. Um, dried fruit, that'll go in my oatmeal. This is part of a MRE. This is leftovers from MRE. Got a knife, you should always have a knife. This is um, eating utensils and salt and pepper and a toothbrush. Whenever you go out, you never want to forget your toothbrush. I got two cups, one for me and one for a guest. No guest today though. Two forks, one for me, one for a guest. Again, no guest today. I'm gonna to put those in the utensil bin here. This is mostly plastic utensils, but it's nice to have everything in one place because then you can find it. 
um, half roll of paper towels. I don't have a whole roll because I don't have that much space. This is more than I'll use, but I use these for a million different things. This is part of an MRE that's left over, a muffin top. Huh, we'll try that out here. Uh, part of an MRE. Coffee. Don't want to forget your coffee. A little miniature cutting board. I have two, so then I have two towels that I put stuff in, and there's two, well, there's one plate here. And it, sometimes it's easier to have paper plates. Um, so sometimes I do that, and sometimes I just prefer metal ones because then you don't have to worry about things flopping out and stuff. And in this paper towel, then I have another plate and I have my cast iron skillet here and this cast iron overkill I don't know maybe um, you could get by with less probably but boy cast iron cooks really nice and that's everything in this tote I'll put it back and we'll tune in in a flash here can this other tote then I've got a full MRE. This is beef patty, and that's um, this is like my backup food. If things, I brought enough food for this trip, but if I end up being delayed out here, or something weird happens, or I can't get a fire started, or whatever, at least I have a backup meal. Not my first choice, though. This is a bunch of dryer lint, like more than a season's worth. I overpacked that. I have some oven mitts here, and I use these really for my stove pipe a lot, and then I may use them for um, lifting my skillet off and things like that. Roll of toilet paper. I don't need a whole roll, but that's what got put in here. This is medical stuff, band-aids, um, all kinds of stuff. A pair of extra pair of gloves. These are like super gripper gloves, but they're not warm. Bic lighter. I have two batteries and these I can charge my I can recharge my phone I can charge my GoPro batteries I can jump start my snow machine headlamp this is like an everything bag I have a Leatherman in here some extra batteries some cord um, some Carmex got a light for my tent Another bag of things. Um, looks like there's some, oh, there's some hand cream in there. When you're out like this, the air is really, really dry. And so it just sucks everything out of your skin. And then you're going to get your hands wet and dry and wet and dry and wet and dry. And so it's always nice to have some hand lotion. I got a little miniature hatchet that I use inside my tent a lot. A face mask in case things get really cold. A lighter. You always want to have a lighter on your person because when the butane in them gets cold, it doesn't pressurize and so it does not light. Oh, that one lit. Look at that. Now it won't light. But if it's warm inside, then it will pressurize and you can use it. And some extra batteries for my lamp there. And then I also have in here. I have some, I put some rubber gloves in here and I use these when I'm messing with my stove pipe. That way I don't get my hands all grimy and stuff like that. It just, that way you don't have to get them wet to get them clean. And that, I want to, I got my GoPro charger. Um, and that's everything that I have in these two totes. And when I get home, I'll take these in the house, I'll unload them, I'll wash everything, pack everything back in there, recharge my batteries, put it all back in there, and then I move it back out where I have all of my camping stuff so it's always in one place. If you have it scattered, one of these over there, and I put that over there, and this over there, you'll always forget something. So I clean it all up, it's like the day I get home, and then I put it all back in one place so it can easily be found. Um, so those are some tricks that I've learned along the way. Welcome to the bunker. Well, it's really not a bunker, it's just an enclosed travel trailer, but bunker sounds way cooler. Um, right now I'm using it for storage. Uh, I have all my winter camping gear in here My since the last trip. I've taken my tents out, I've dried everything there, repacked them, I've unpacked my food totes, washed everything in there, repacked food in here, repacked clean dishes in here. I have other winter gear, pretty much everything I'm going to use this winter 
for camping is in here. And so it's all in one place. It makes it easy. I can just back my truck up here, unload everything in my truck. Since it's all here, I'm not going to forget anything. Anytime I remember, oh, I should have taken last time I, the first trip out, I didn't have my stool, which was a bummer because I had nowhere to sit. Now I have somewhere to sit. So I put this in with my gear and that way when I load it all up, it's all here and I don't forget anything. That makes life a lot easier. And so don't forget to subscribe. One other trick that I use is I like to prep as much of my food as possible at home. I'll cut potatoes up and all this and put them in Tupperwares. And that way when I get out here, I don't have to do all that food prep. I can just dump it in there. And so in there I got potatoes, onions, carrots, peppers, and cook it. And you probably see that in a lot of my videos here and there, but I think that's a huge trick. If you haven't been doing that, that's, that's a win every day. Um, so don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the outdoors. So this is an MRE, it's called a maple muffin top. I haven't eaten since breakfast and it's way past lunchtime. So let's take a look here. Oh, let's see if we can get it out in one piece. Mm, kind of, sort of, almost. There we go. And it has a little moisture sucker thing in there. Don't want to eat that. That's everything that's in there. So I guess it's at the top of a muffin, maybe. I don't know. I would say it tastes like a muffin. A lot of maple in it. Not bad. I would eat one again.